Hey, welcome back to The Ready State. I want to show you a quick test that you can use with any of your athletes. Now, we say that your range of motion is a moving document. It can be based on a lot of things. And one of the things we need to do is quickly be able to assess, do I have access to the position? So this is going out to all my brothers and sisters who sometimes complain about the front of my shoulders got baked doing burpees. I don't know why. Have you ever had soreness from, from look, all three of them are like, yes. We have, we have the monsters here. And so here's what I'm going to show you. If all of them get into a position with light forehead contact on the ground, they're going to make a fist. See, Laura's got her, uh, Pennington's got her elbow over her wrist. And it doesn't matter where she puts that, but, but just kind of by her side in this position. And I want to show you, what you're thinking is, is this a real position or not? So put your arms over your head, ladies. And then what I want you to do is get into a position where you're going to do a push-up as fast as you can, like you're going to jump off the ground, when I tell you. So we're going to race to get to, don't get up off the ground, but race like you're going to. Ready, go! And look what happened. 100% of them have elbows over wrists into position that looks like the position they would do for a burpee. So in this position, without changing anything, let's see how they're doing in terms of being able to express shoulder extension. Because if our athletes are missing shoulder extension, the ability in the short lever shoulder extension position, which we call in this movement's vital sign archetype position, we call this the press shape. If they're missing them, the shoulder translates forward in compensation position, which makes the mechanic less effective and potentially smokes the front of the shoulder. So here's what we're gonna do. Make a fist for me. And all with light forehead contact, that's just gonna keep them from just extending through the problem. All they need to do is lift the the fists off the ground and comfortably hold that position. You can see J-Star's trying to flare a little bit. Do you see that flare happening? Elbows going out. Pennington's doing a good job here. Mod's, Dr. Mod is in a good shape, but are they breathing in this position? So what, one of the things you can do is to say, show me you can hold this position, take a breath. And this is a quick and dirty test to be able to figure out, do my athletes struggle with this end range position? Because, go ahead and Ju Juliet. As Juliet lifts up again and she fatigues, elbow's gonna go out and shoulder's gonna go forward, and that is gonna be expensive on the mechanical efficiency of her shoulders. And that may or may not ever cause a shoulder problem, but it definitely begets a lot of additional shoulder stiffness range inefficiency. Make sense? We think easy, easy pass? Because by the way, these, this is an easy position. Does it feel easy? Not after a while, which means if you're doing more than one, hey, take a look at this. So if you're having this, we've just finished the Bully series. This is a great way to improve this press, shape, archetype, move, and vital sign. Thank you, women. Thank you. See you guys tomorrow.